Okay, let's see. First question, who am I? Yeah. Uh, my, my name is Venerable Santi Damo Bhikkhu. I'm a Theravada Buddhist monk visiting from Seattle. And I've been a monk for 12 years. I've been a practicing Buddhist for 20 years. And uh, I teach meditation in the United States. So, let's see, I wrote a little book about Mahagosananda, uh, Samdek Mahagosananda, uh, his biography, when he passed away in 2007. And I, the first time I met him, I didn't know who he was. He, he was visiting Seattle, and I just happened to be in a temple and saw him. And uh, everybody's very happy, and I just, you know, just remember somebody saying it was uh, Mahagosananda. But I didn't really know who he was until I came to Cambodia in uh, 2008, I mean 1998. And uh, then I heard stories about him and the things he had done, and so I was very impressed, and I would go listen to him and uh, ask questions about his teaching. And, so the first time I actually met him uh, was at Tim and Mai's house. They were uh, working for USAID, and so I was prepared with all of these questions about uh, human rights and world peace. And when I went to see them, see him, so I was going to ask all these questions, but he didn't uh, want to answer any question. He just told me to wait. And uh, then he asked for ice cream and passed ice cream cones around to everybody, and so we all just sat there eating ice cream, you know. And that was his, that was kind of like a teaching, you know. He was teaching that real Buddhism is not a lot of talking, not a lot of information, it's happiness, sharing happiness together. You have to have happiness in yourself before you can, you know give happiness to other people. So that was the first time I met him and then I would go to his uh, Wat, where he was living, Wat Sampu Mies, and just sit in the, every day he would receive visitors. Sometimes 20, 30, 40, 50 people would come to just listen, ask questions. and So he would talk every day and uh, answer their questions. So it was very interesting. And um, so Mahagosananda was a very special uh, monk, a very special human being who really attained the highest level of wisdom or the highest level of humanity. You know, some people call it a saint or he was a holy person. Uh, because he really was transformed by the teachings of compassion. I mean, he, it changed him so much that you could, you know, see it. You could feel it, and you knew. Uh, he was a role model, so he is a mentor and a role model that I try to follow his teaching or his way of life. For me, he showed me that no matter how terrible things are, no matter what happens in this world, you can turn it into something good if you have enough love and enough compassion. There's nothing that you can't face with joy in your heart. You can be happy in the face of difficulties. Um, the most important teaching is that he said you have to change yourself. You have to change your own heart, you know, uh, to be a peacemaker. You don't make peace out there in the world by trying to change other people or change politics. You change your heart and then you just respond to the circumstances that you see in front of your eyes, your ears, your nose, your tongue, your body, your mind. You respond to life in the present moment with as much um, metta, kindness, and karuna, compassion. And you change that encounter 
uh, day by day, moment by moment. Uh, you change terrible things into good things. You know, this is how he made peace in Cambodia, how he helped make peace in Cambodia, and how he helped uh, end conflict between two people, you know, two uh, different kinds of people fighting. So, that's a basic basic ideas about Mahabhasananda. Yeah. Uh -huh.